so on this one you can see our entering water is at 96 leaving 58 this chiller is not running right now this is the redundancy you can see it verifies right there so what happened here is uh, that entering water sensor has failed so we're gonna come up to view we're gonna switch over to binding let that go through its binding startup over to converter mode so it's going to be this sensor here this is our entering uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to do a uh, LED verification so right now it's identifying everything it's getting pulled up wait for it to do all of its thinking go so from here we're gonna go to uh, there we go so we got entering water I'm going to do LED on click that so earlier when we walked over if you notice that LED was off and as you can see it is now on so that's exactly what I wanted to see and I just it just something I do is a verification that way I don't get anything crossed up or something crazy is not happening so now that that's done I'm going to unbind it I'm going to kick over to unbind or unbound now I'm going to change it out come back rebind all right so we've got the sensor changed out I'm going to hit bind it's going to pull up this little option we're going to walk over here to the sensor and take our magnet LED comes on, it activates the sensor, walk back over here, hit yes, and boom. Now we can confirm, hit establish connection, hit LED on, and back to the sensor, and LED is on. So, <clears throat> now we just need to go confirm that it is actually functioning, so We'll go back to unit view. Now it's going to uh, recycle uh, the operation on the controls or on the control panel and uh, go through all of its self diagnostic, self testing. Once it does that, it'll reconnect automatically and then we can come back and see how it's doing.